Welcome to Grifters, the Catholic edition. Let me just get my microphone up here. There you go. Now, as you might be able to see from the thumbnail, uh, this is about Tay Tay Marshall, Ema Jones, and Michelle Vargas. Grifters who use um, Catholicism as their fake con. Now, I want to point out a couple of things, you know, I, I know that not many of you would do this, knowing my sensitive nature and how I could easily be offended and hurt by such accusations. Um, but a few of you, you know, probably, let's say under five or six hundred people that would have commented or emailed or bitched or moaned at some forum somewhere that I somehow lack Catholic charity and kindness towards suspected heretics. Well, let me clear a couple of things up. First of all, the easy one. Are we obliged to give any char charity, Catholic charity or kindness to confirmed heretics? No. Let me quote from uh, Cum Ex Apostolatus Officio which um, is the uh, papal encyclical by, um, that was produced uh, as a result of the uh, uh, vast satanic attempt to secularize Christianity known as the Reformation. Um, Cum ex apostolato officio was uh, created on the 15th of February 1559 uh, by Pope Paul IV. And in point number three, part two, where he is referring to um, to the various, uh, sorry, uh, point three, part three, where he's referring to the various heretics, which will come to, I'll prove that they are heretics. Um, it states that all such individuals shall be held, treated, and reputed as such by everyone, as such meaning heretics of whatsoever status, grade, order, condition, or preeminence he may be, and whatsoever excellence may be his, even episcopal, archiepiscopal, patriarchal, and primal, or other greater ecclesiastical dignity, in, which of course includes the papacy, since you can't go much higher than an archbishop uh, and uh, a primate, um, or secular, even the authority of count, baron, marquis, duke, king, or emperor, and as such, must be avoided and must be deprived of the sympathy of all natural kindness. You're not doing them, yourself or anyone else a favor by treating these people with some kind of kindness or false charity that is not due to them by Catholic dogmatic law and of course common sense. I mean uh, even Jesus whipped the money changers in the in the in the temple. That's pretty obvious. Um, as for are these people actually heretic? I'm not going to go through again the whole point of you know Vatican II is heretical and therefore the anti popes are heretics. Those of you that have watched any of my videos, including video number one, which you can find you know below, uh, will know that of course uh, those anti popes are indeed heretics. Public notorious by the very fact that they uh, published and taught and so on documents that contained heresy. But some people say, oh, but cum, apostolatus, cum ex apostolatus of future doesn't really address uh, future popes or, or potential popes. That is an absolute lie. It's a lie that is said by liars who try and pretend that documents don't say exactly what they say. Because again, in part two, Point number one and two and three, it points out that any soever who, before this date, shall have been detected to have deviated from the Catholic faith or fallen into any heresy or incur incurred schism or provoked or committed either of bo or both of these or who have confessed to have done any of these things or who have been convicted of having done any of these things. So that covers anyone in the past. What about the future? Well, that's point number two. Any soever who 
which may God in his clemency and goodness to all deign to avert, that's in brackets, shall in the future so deviate, or fall into heresy, or incur schism, or shall provoke or commit either or both of these. That covers everyone in the future. And point number three, any soever who shall be detected to have so deviated, fallen, incurred, provoked, or committed, who shall conf or who shall confess to have done any of these things, or who shall be convicted of having done any of these things. Now, as a matter of course, it is absolutely a fact that the antipopes um, and uh, the, uh, the the antipopes are heretical, of course. Now, some people say, oh, but what about those poor bishops that didn't know that the popes were anti? No, they all knew. They were all part of Vatican II. They all continued to promulgate the heresy and therefore themselves become heretics. And let me find the part that tells you that. Um, moreover, um, right, oh, furthermore, why I say that people like Vigano, Burke, all these guys, not only are they public heretics because they have continued to promote Vatican II, and etc., etc., they've continued to promote fake anti-popes as popes in a public, notorious manner, and therefore they have fallen as well uh, under Canon 188 Part 4 and become heretics themselves. But uh, furthermore, such people that have become heretics and this is in point number three, part two, that moreover they shall be unfit and incapable in respect of these things, and that they shall be held to be backsliders and subverted in every way, just as if they had previously abjured heresy of this kind in public trial. That they shall never at any time be able to be restored, returned, reinstated, or rehabilitated to their former status, or cathedral, metropolitan, patriarchal, and prime, primatial churches, or the cardinalate, or other honor, any other dignity, greater or lesser, any right to vote, active or passive, or authority, or monasteries and beneficiaries, or couch, countships, baronies, marquisates, dukedoms, kingships, and positions of imperial power, but rather that they shall be abandoned to the judgment of the secular power to be punished after due consideration, unless there should be appear in them signs of true penitence and the fruits of worthy repentance. So you're saying, oh, well, but what if they repent? Like possibly vegano? No, because it continues. And by the kindness and clemency of the sea itself, they shall have been sentenced to sequestration in any monastery or other religious house in order to perform perpetual penance upon the bread of sorrow and the water of affliction. So, such fake clerics not only are heretics by having continued to promulgate and promote heresy, Vatican II, the antipopes, etc., but they are absolutely and forever never again to be placed in any kind of authority, at best, if their crimes are such they do not need to spend time in jail or possibly be burnt at the stake, um, as the laws should require in certain cases. They don't, secular laws at the moment, but they should, and they should be changed back to that. But in those cases where, you know, this doesn't apply and the guy is genuinely repentant, well, guess what? Then he gets to spend the rest of his days huddled away, sequestered, which means basically locked away in a monastery or some other religious house where all his time will be spent in perpetual penance. In other words, he shall have authority over no one. He shall not perform any of the sacraments to anyone. He shall stay in abject penance for the rest of his days. And that is what these heretics are doing. Furthermore, people like Vigano have absolutely not repudiated completely Vatican II, and absolutely continue to call the fake antipopes anti as popes, which is in itself a public and notorious heresy, which makes them heretics. Uh, and uh, that's basically it. 
Oh, by the way, and in case you're, we now come to uh, the grifters, Tay Tay Marshall, Emo Jones, and Michelle Boris. These people are obviously publicly, they're all over the internet, notoriously, they're all over the internet, intentionally, they studiously avoid any kind of proclamation against Vatican II specifically and against the anti-popes specifically. And uh, we can see this, for example, in an interview I recently listened to with Emo Jones, where he dodges and dives and ducks and gets upset when he's basically cornered by the interviewer. And I'll put a link to that interview below. It's quite entertaining um, and very well measured. Unlike myself, the man doing the interview keeps his, um, uh, let's shall we say, his tone in the most charitable and uh, polite manner. I wouldn't, not with notorious liars, because I am in no way required to give them any kindness. Remember what I just read. But are these people heretics themselves? Can I say that Emo Jones is a heretic and a non-Catholic? Oh my God, how cruel is the Kurgan? Can I say that Tay Tay Jones is just a fake Catholic that he's using the same bullshit like conman skills that he used as a Protestant, which he was for many years? Or that ex-homosexual Michelle Voris is uh, in any way qualified to pronounce anything on the Catholic Church ever? No. Michelle Voris might have repented of his homosexuality that doesn't give them at all any kind of right to publicly proclaim anything for the Catholic Church. But specifically, all three of these grifters who are solely in it for the money are doing it, uh, are promoting heresy. And what does Cum Ex Apostolato Officio say about this? Point number five. By this, our Constitution, moreover, which is to remain valid in perpetuity, we also enact, determine, decree, and define as follows concerning those who shall have presumed in any way knowingly to receive, defend, favor, believe, or teach the teachings of those so apprehended, confessed, or convicted. In other words, the heretics previously mentioned. One, they shall automatically incur sentence of excommunication. That's it. Two, they shall be rendered infamous. That's what's happening here. I'm rendering them infamous to the 2,000 or so people that are going to watch this and hopefully promote it throughout the world. And I'm rendering them infamous because they are deceiving souls into hell. Three, they shall be excluded on pain of invalidity from any public or private office, deliberation, synod, general or provincial councils, and any conclave of cardinals or other congregation of the faithful and from any election or function of witness so that they cannot take part in any of these by vote, in person, by writings, representative or by any agent. In other words, we are to shun these heretic impostors in every and all ways available to us. And then he goes on to say they shall be incapable of making a will. They shall not accede to the succession of heredity. In other words, if it were up to the powers of the church and the laws of the church, they would suffer a lot more besides what I'm doing here, which all I'm doing here is following the orders of the magisterium of the church, of the inerrant um, papal encyclical of Pope um, Paul IV, in, called Cum Ex Apostolatus Officio. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all you need to know about the grifters. They are grifters. They are heretics. This is why. It is dogmatic canon law that if you publicly and notoriously promote heresy, which you do when you promote and pretend that Vatican II is not complete heresy, and which you do separately and independently when you promote and pretend that the anti-popes who produced, promulgated, and continue to teach Vatican II are not themselves heretics. Because by doing that, 
you're pretending that a heretic is a pope, which is itself absolute heresy. And you're doing so publicly and notoriously. I hope I've made this very, very clear. Therefore, all those of you who are either ignorant, intentional deceivers, badly catechized, or just outright liars, or in fact the drifters themselves, will be directed to this video in the future. Also, since cum ex apostolatus officio is one of the very several, or let's say, of the of the papal encyclicals that is not re re reproduced on the official Vatican portal. I wonder why that is, hey? But you can find it easily enough just by simply googling cum ex apostolatus officio. Paul the uh, fourth. It was. Um, made public on February the 15th, 1559. And I also want to point out that everything that's in Cum Ex Apostolatus of Fijio is not new. It was simply a summary and uh, a particularization, a clarification of what has always been the dogmatic position of the church. A heretic cannot be in any way, shape or form considered a Catholic. And as such, they have no right to direct speak for, say anything on behalf of, teach or promulgate anything to do with Catholicism. Again, this has been dogmatic and obvious, logical, normal, common sense from the beginning of time. You cannot speak for those groups to whom you do not belong. And if you are a heretic, you are not a Catholic. End all. Again, I can't make it simpler than that. So, uh, I hope that clarifies it to anybody that was slightly confused. And uh, I'll leave it there. Good day.